Hi everyone, this is K-Search again and this week is going to be very very exciting right? Because we are going to learn about grading and staging of cancer this video, we are going to talk about the general grading and general staging of a cancer, not any particular cancer. So let's move on. Before we proceed further, I am using this JNC staging manual for this video. So grading and staging so why do we need to grade and stage the cancer it's because by categorizing different different degree of the cancer you can guide the therapy and you can also predict the tumor behavior we must understand the difference what does grading means? It just means the degree of the differentiation and the rate of growth. Grading is a qualitative assessment of the degree of differentiation of the tumor. The grade may reflect the extent of which the tumor resembles a normal tissue at that site. So, Histology stratification of the solid tumor that has been dominated by the description of differentiation with grade expressed as the overall histology differentiation of the cancer in a numerical grade from the most differentiated to the least. Traditionally, what we use is the broader's grading system he has already given one two three and four grade mind you this is a traditional grading system so what happened was the loss of differentiation of less than 25 percent that is grade one 25 to 50 grade two 51 to 75, spread 3, and more than 75%, spread 4. As you can see, this is qualitative, and this, uh, this the caveat is on the eyes of the pathologist. So, grading, you will need a tissue biopsy for that. Staging, on the other hand, is the extent of the anatomy or we call it the anatomical extent of the tumor. By this, you have look at look back at the clinical and imaging. Uh, the best system that we use is that AJCC system, in which we use the tumor nodes and metastasis (TNM) staging. Let's talk about T staging. Tumor. Generally, T staging starts with 0, T0, T1, T2, T3, and T4. Mind you, this is general. Some, some cancers, specific cancers, they have 3A, 3B, 2A, 2B. We are not going to that. Start with T0 to T0. T0 is that we couldn't see the primary either clinically or by imaging. So this is only microscopic. T1 is that the tumor is so small, usually it's at the submucosa if you're talking about bowel tumor. Yeah? T2 is already going to the muscularis propria. This muscle is the muscle just below the submucosa layer and this is the muscle of the bowel. Then T3 are those already extended to the serosa and T4 already 
ready ready to the edges some broken you have the mucosa area you have the muscularis area and you have the serosa layer mucosa muscularis and the serosa so T0 is microscopic we couldn't see or T0 T1 it just at the submucosa T2 ready extended to the muscularis papaya right. T3 is ready at the silosa area and T4 it already invaded the adjacent organ so T1, T2, T3 and T4. Let's say the tumor is just outside the serosa but never infiltrate the outside organ. That is a T3. However, there are some caveat there. Some might put it as a T4A and when already invaded, it becomes a T4B. But this is the general how the TMA staging works. The node staging or the end staging, you will have a N0 or N0, N1, N2, and N3. They wouldn't have any N4. Some is only up to N2. And these different, different uh, specific organ uh, cancers have different type of uh, end staging. N0 is there's no nodes and one there are a few nodes and two is many nodes and three is maximum nodes <laughs> okay this is actually we are talking about the regional nodes right that means it's only tire one and tire two lymph nodes tire three lymph nodes or apical lymph nodes usually are considered as a metastasis so in order for the node staging to be valid the harvested lymph nodes every cancer has different numbers let's say breast the current number you must take at least 10 lymph nodes let's say gastric is 50 colon yes it's still 10 and so on and so forth so that's why in order for the node staging to be valid, the surgeon must already take the required number of the nodes. We proceed to end staging or metastasis staging. It's very easy. It's only M0 or M1. So metastasis M0, there's no distant mass. And M1 is ready a metastasis. Stage 1, what does it mean? Is that it's a tiny tumor. Stage 2 is that the tumor is small, there's no positive lymph nodes. Stage 3, the tumor is okay, a bit is small, but uh, maybe it's big tumor. And there's a positive lymph nodes. Stage 4 is M1 disease. Oh, this is metastasis. So it's easy, right? Stage 1, tumor is small, no lymph nodes. Stage 2, small tumor, no lymph nodes. Stage 3, doesn't matter the tumor size actually, but there is a positive lymph nodes. Stage 4 is an M1 disease. How about stage 0? Stage 0 is only in the recent years. Because of the advancement of technology, we are able to detect cancer earlier. So all these stage 0 are carcinoma in situ 
for those who don't know what is a carcinoma in situ can refer back to the previous video but what does it mean by early early tumors is stage 0 and stage 1 these are early tumors right so locally advanced tumor can be a stage 2 or stage 3 metastatic or advanced tumor that is a stage 4 those are the categorization one of you must already be wondering why I haven't talked about prefix yeah the TMM prefix for the TMM so we are going to talk about this now if you use a C in front let's say TMM let's say it's a T1 M1 M0 you can put a C in front is to indicate this is a clinical staging it meant this is a pre-treatment staging before definitive treatment let's say the patient has already done chemotherapy and definitely surgery has been done and the HPE is out we can give a P staging P means a pathological staging because we already done the HPE we already know the exact size exact number of lymph nodes exact number of the metastases we can put a P in front so we can put a P, T1, M1, M1 alright there is also a R staging R staging is a retreatment the scenario here is the patient have already done a chemotherapy let's say already done the surgery and now it came back so you need a recurrence and you need a retreatment so you put a R in front number one, another one is Y this Y is you put in front of the C and P because this is post new adjuvant with the chemotherapy medication nowadays uh, more and more advanced uh, a lot of patients have been gone through the nutrition therapy and they are able to finish the new adjuvant therapy the staging after the new adjuvant you can put a Y let's say it can be a YC TMN in which the surgery has not been done yet or YP TMN the surgery has been done and already know the pathological staging huh. there's another one more very interesting which is the A staging A is autopsy yeah? what does autopsy mean? suddenly a patient brought in dead then we went for the forensic and surprise surprise there is a tumour inside the body Forensic pathologists will need to stage the disease as well, but the prefix will be ATMS, in which either autopsy, the staging. Why do you need this for documentations? Towards the end, I guess most of my students will be very very confused about the the prefix of the TMM staging don't worry you can always repeat back this video then we can discuss also in the comment section so this all about grading and staging of cancers recap grading is the differentiation of the tissue of the cancer cells then staging is the anatomy extension so for a surgeon, which one is more important? It's both. Of course, we rely more on the staging because by using look at the staging, uh, it's because we are the planner. We always plan. Mind you, surgery is not all about cutting. It's about 
plan. One who fails to plan have already fails 50% of the time. Remember this. So I hope you guys love the video this week and you can always go back to review the previous previous videos and please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification button so next week we are going to teach you how to utilize the stage we are talking to talk about the strategies of the treatment for cancers so at it will be at the same time same day and same channel and this is k-search bye